So here I'm going to solve the question 4 of the 2011 exam. I've had a few students asking questions, so I thought I'd solve this. So what's the important bits of information we have in here? We have, we have an estimate or regression model, we have an estimated what model, and what we are asked to do is to exclude explain how we can calculate white standard errors for gamma naught hat and gamma one hat. Okay, these are of course these two coefficients and here we have the estimators for these two coefficients. Now white standard errors it's I, I can appreciate that you hopefully all know how to calculate them using an e-views that's pretty uh, pretty easy. Unfortunately answering Click a certain button in English wasn't um, the appropriate answer in an exam. So, therefore, the following. I appreciate that this is a, a difficult question to see how to answer it. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just note down, possibly when you read this question, you first thought, hmm, right, standard errors, I remember that. That was something like, if you remember it right, isn't there something, a formula like this? Okay, and that is great. That's a great start. If you see that, you uh, you can get good points in this question if you, if you link this now nicely. So, you know that this is a variance covariance matrix estimator. So, in the lecture, we said that was the variance of beta hat. If we have either heteroscedasticity and or autocorrelation. So here we have heteroscedastic data. So we know that this is the relevant formula. The question is now, how do we link this to this problem? So you can see this is written in, in a matrix form, possibly with a model like this in mind. Now this is not the form we have. We have this observation bias form. I think the first useful step would have been to reformulate this model in a matrix form. As, as you know from the, uh, from the lecture, I said we always use what is more convenient. So why not state this as follows? Z equals, let's call, call the matrix of explanatory variables X. The coefficient, we have gamma, so let's call it gamma plus an error term W, but now we have to be clear that we link these sort of guys. So you can do that in the following way. You can say Z is a vector of Z1, Z2, all the way to Zn. Uh, do we know how many observations? Yeah, so you could say N is equal to 167. Then we need an X, our X, that looks as follows. Now we have a constant and we have the QI, so we need two columns. Constant is represented by a vector of 1, and then the second column is going to be Q1, Q2, all the way down to Qn. And we of course have our vector of error terms, W1, W2, all the way to Wn. Here we go, and our last, we need to explain what the gamma is, and the uh, gamma is a vector of coefficients. Here we have two, gamma naught and gamma one. So now we basically need to apply this formula to our example. Now, so we know that the relevant variance covariance matrix in the case of heteroscedasticity is gamma hat, so the variance of gamma hat, and now we can do exactly the same because we have the x defined here, so I'll just replicate that again. And x prime x inverse. So, but now we still need to, to clearly say what our Omega is. We haven't really defined the the omega yet. So the omega 
is the variance covariance matrix of our error terms of the of the w's okay so that is the variance of the w vector now we know that the way this is going to look like is sigma 1 squared the variance for the first error term sigma 2 squared all the way to sigma n squared so to calculate wide standard errors we need this one before I before I continue I would advise that I was being a little bit sloppy here that when you when you answer your question you should always say a sentence or two as to what you do okay so here we reformulate the model in matrix form okay and then the rest makes sense now I want you to write these things because if you make a mistake your intention of what you want to do gives me a good chance to actually give you part marks in case you do any mistakes but if you don't say what your intention is then it's really difficult difficult to allocate part marks if you if you don't really go right so the then with respect to this line we would possibly say the uh, relevant variance matrix variance matrix for gamma hat and uh, you could add all s here you could perhaps add that here as well is as follows okay and that is this variance and now you could say what's important of course is that we don't know that omega okay omega is unknown yeah, all these different variances we don't know what they are so that means we need an estimate for omega and let's call that omega hat and then white proposed the following so I propose that we use omega hat and perhaps we'll call it W where our proxy for the first variance is going to be the first OLS residual estimated OLS residual squared the estimate for the second variance is the second OLS residual squared and so forth all the way to the nth residual squared and all our values are going to be zero okay and then we plug this into this formula okay and so you can you can make your own formula references in your answers as long as they are clear um, I will of course acknowledge them and we plug this into this formula so then we know everything we know the x the axis of course we have our omega hat and perhaps to complete that you should say here where omega hat i is the i estimated all s residual So now you know what variance, how to calculate the variance for gamma hat or less. Now remember what the question asked was the standard errors for gamma naught hat and gamma one hat. So first you need to understand how this gamma hat variance for gamma hat or less relates to gamma naught and gamma one. Remember that. Oops, I need to find color now remember this gamma is gamma naught and gamma one what dimension does this variant this variance gamma hat or less have that is a two by two matrix okay, you can try and get all the dimensions of these guys and confirm that you'll get a two by two matrix so that means that the variance of gamma hat 
So this is a 2 by 2 matrix and importantly what we have is the variance of gamma naught hat is the 1 1 element the variance of gamma 1 hat is the 2 2 element and here we have the covariances but they are not really relevant to answer our question but you could of course write covariance gamma naught hat and gamma 1 hat and what we want is the standard error for gamma naught hat and the standard error for gamma 1 hat and that is nothing else but the square root of the variance for gamma naught hat and the square root of the variance for gamma 1 hat. Okay, And this would be a complete solution to this question. You've arrived at what you were asked to do. Okay. So the important message I think from here is we of course we didn't have a question exactly like this even a tutorial or in the exam. In any future exam you will again get questions like this where you just have to apply your knowledge and really internalize what I told you in the lecture. Always use the observation form or the matrix form depending on what is easier. And here was clear, clearly the matrix form. But that means you need to reformulate the model first. But that little work in the beginning was well worth its while.